Okay, guys, I'm here with another ship build for you guys. And as you can see, this is one of my uh, Star Wars builds. I'm going to be doing a lot of Star Wars builds in the next several videos because I'm on a server now that's Star Wars based, and well, it's feeding my love of Star Wars, and I'm getting to build some really fantastic ships. Ships I never knew were in Star Wars before, but I've been made to go and look them up and build them, and I am falling in love with Star Wars even more than I was before. So anyways, with that said, let's quickly take a little tour around here. Well, this is a heavily modded version. This is not vanilla. As you can see, it is very similar to other builds of this same ship, because it's an A-Wing. It's going to look like an A-Wing. So, it have, might have a lot of similarities with other people's builds, but that's kind of to be expected, because if it's going to look like an A-Wing, it's going to look like an A-Wing. The end. But I've he heavily modded mine and made it to where it functions the way A-Wings do in the movies. And I've got three maglocks right there to hold it down. Uncle Steve's uh, armor plates to create the looks. I'm using the War Brothers updated version of uh, Riders Thrusters. So I have both Atmospheric and Ion. And the reason for both of them is you'll find out later in the video. Like I said, they function just like you would expect them to in movies. And then, of course, I've got the antenna, which I kind of used to be like the R2 unit because it looks like it kind of. I'm using Code Cat reactors and I don't get enough power for all the thrusters on the same. And uh, there's a beacon, and that's. You know, your normal connections, that way you can hook up and get some ice, get some ammo. And of course, the KX9s, because they look the most like, you know, Star Wars. So let's hop in and get this thing to fly. I'm going to go and pull the tab, so you guys can see exactly how fast we're going and so forth. Zoomed out way too much. There we go. Now, so acceleration, it's got that. You're going to get to speed really freaking fast. I know if I go ahead and start heading towards the planet. See, speed in the... You already see how fast I'm going. You leave anything behind. It's really, really fast. And this is a void roll that I've pasted in the, uh... The whole thing, so it really does work. Really should have waited till it's daylight, but whatever. Just go to the daylight side of the planet. It shoots just like you would expect. And we're going to be coming down really fast. Because of my speed mods. But I've played with speed mods that went slower. And still function. Let's go and turn on the atmospherics. And yes, you're going to see me come in at 800 miles per hour. It'll be just fine. Lag. Come on. Okay, a little bit of a lag spike there. That's because of my my system, but you know, it still functions. And we're in atmosphere now. I swear to you, that wasn't a cut. That was a lag spike. This is all being done on one take. And now to show you, I mean, you can sit here and hover, no problem. Yeah, 
flies, no problem at all. And then, just to show you that what I was saying is true, and it really built, do it without hydros. Let's head back into space now. First, I'm gonna get a little bit of speed. And we're going 800 miles an hour. And back in space. Yeah. Also, dude, you notice how fast it accelerated in the atmosphere? Now, where the hell did that space station go? Oh, that would have been helpful. Anyways, guys, I'm going to end the video here. Pretty short, sweet. You see what it can do. And, uh, so, yeah. This is my A-Wing. It's my custom design. I uh, built it up from scratch. It works just as you would expect. It goes to and from a planet. No problems. And I love it. There's that space station. I need to order my body while I kill myself. One place in the planet. It would uh, show up. So yeah, guys. I will be back in a... Uh, some more, or some more builds. I've got some really interesting ones coming up, so I'll talk to you later. I'm out.